Hey guys, it's JC here. So today I'm just going to do another quick hair tutorial. So as you can tell, my hair is not straight now, right now, but you can do it with straight hair or you can do it with wavy or even curly hair. I will be using a hop tool later, so it doesn't matter at this point. So the first thing I'm going to do is section off my top layer. So, so I'm going to pull my top layer and I'm just going to hold it together with a clip. It doesn't matter what you use. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to section off three layers. I want two on my side and one in the back. So, this is my first side. This one is my second side. And then I have a chunk in the back like that. Okay. So, what I'm going to take to do with these sides is that I'm going to take it and I am just going to twist my hair. So you just want to keep twisting and twisting and twisting and twisting until you get to the end. And then I'm just going to hold it in place currently with a clip. So the next thing I'm going to do is take this portion. I'm going to do the exact same thing and I'm just going to keep twisting. So you want to twist until both ends meet in the back. Just going to remove the clip. And as you can see now, I have the two twisted right here. So I'm just going to twist them together. And then I am going to take a hair elastic. And I'm just going to try the two twisted ends together. When you get to the end, you don't want to pull it all the way through. So what you want to do is just leave a little chunk like this. And just like a little ball. Like so. so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work with this chunk which was the middle layer from my back. I'm going to take my heat protectant first of all. I'm using Chi 44 Iron Guard today. Just spray that in the hair evenly and kind of just work it through. And then I'm going to take my Chi flat iron and I'm just going to quickly wave these strands. So I'm twisting 180 degrees and I'm just pulling slowly so that it is wavy like you can see. It's not tight curls or anything like that. If you want, you guys can do tight curls. The only difference would be I'm just pulling quicker down with the flat iron. To run it through my hair, you would just go slower. So, wavy again. And I'm just going to do that with the remainder of the strands here. If you guys want equivalently, you guys can use a curling iron to do this as well. I just find it faster when I use a flat iron. So there you go, it's wavy on this side and your hair is coming off over your shoulder. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to let down my top layer. So what I'm going to do with this layer is I'm going to take a rat tail comb and I am just actually going to add volume all over my hair into the back here. So I'm going to take it from the crown here and you're just going to back comb. Don't worry about it looking messy right now. You can actually just fix it later. You just want to back comb it all in. If you have difficulty doing this, there are products you can use to help you get more volume, or there are different methods as well. In one of my other videos, I talked about one of my favorite products. It's called Osis, and what it does is it helps you get volume in your hair as well as mattifying your hair as well. So that's definitely something you guys can use to help you do this. Okay. You just want to smooth it out with your wrap tail bone. 
So as you guys can see, I have some volume in my hair. So I want to keep working it around my head. So, I'm just going to have some volume in my hair, smooth it out a bit more, my comb. Okay, so now that I have that done, I have some of these layers, these loose strands hanging everywhere. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bunch of bobby pins and I am just going to clip it to the portion in the back where I have the ponytail hanging off. So you just want to take a whole bunch of body pins and just clip the remainder of your hair in place. So you guys can pull over the ponytail onto the other side, or you guys can kind of work it into what you currently have right here on this side as well. You know, as always, my bangs are kind of weird and whatnot, so I sometimes have to use a body pin to hold them in place. So if you have any loose strands or anything like that, you can either just pin it off, you just can pull it back. It's kind of fun on this side, so I'm just going to go through the comb really quickly, smooth it out. Alright, so now you can see we are done with the look. I about have a bit of height in the crown here, kind of puffy. And then I have a side ponytail. Like so and I have these two clips on the side of my head where I brought my hair back from the side. If you guys want now, you guys can add hair accessories into your hair or whatnot. You guys can use a headband or see what I have here. So if you guys want, you guys can actually just add a quick headband. It just makes the look a little more cute. Maybe not. So oh, there you go. If not, you guys can use a flower and you guys can just clip it into the side of your hair right about here or so. So there you go. Now we are done. Something that's really quick, easy, and simple to do. Thanks for watching guys.